Please note that the demonstration shown in this video is intended to provide an overview of the 3M SGLP CL series of products. For actual installation instructions, please refer to the installation manual supplied with the product or contact 3M technical support. It's important to read the entire installation manual before installing this system. Failure to follow all guidelines and rules could lead to personal injury or property damage. Tools needed for installation are a 3-foot level, a pencil, tape measure, adjustable wrench, Phillips and straight screwdriver, tubing cutter, air pressure gauge, and a drill and drill bit set. The first step in the installation process is to mount the tank and bracket assembly. Using the level, make a line at least 10 inches long where the top of the SGLP CL system will be mounted. Place two marks on the level line spaced 9 inches apart. Using the level, draw a vertical line at each of the marks at least 11 inches long. Make a mark on each of the vertical lines 10 and a half inches down from the original marks. You should now have four marks indicating the mounting hole locations. Drill holes at each mark as appropriate for the mounting hardware being used. The next step is to mount the tank and bracket assembly. Use appropriate hardware. It is important that the mounting structure and hardware are capable of supporting a minimum of 50 pounds or 22.7 kilograms. Be sure to anchor all four corners of the mounting bracket. Step two, connect the plumbing. Cut a 6-inch length of 3 8 inch tubing and insert it into the inlet heading on the pre-filter head. Install a 3 8 inch quick connect shutoff valve to the other end of the 6-inch length of tubing. Cut another piece of 3 8 inch tubing, then push one end of the tube into the other end of the shutoff valve. Make sure the shutoff valve is in the off position. Connect a half-inch stem to the quick-connect elbow fitting into the T-fitting on the bottom of the tank. Cut a four-inch piece of half-inch tubing and connect one end into the elbow fitting. Connect one end of a half-inch quick-connect shutoff valve into the other end of the four-inch tube. Cut a length of half-inch tubing long enough to reach the steam equipment inlet connection. Connect one end of the tube into the other end of the shutoff valve. Make sure the shutoff valve is in the off position. Cut a length of 3 8 inch tubing and connect one end of the tube to the permeate pump on the top of the system. Make sure the tubing is long enough to extend from the drain fitting on the permeate pump of the SGLP CL system to the closest drain. Make sure there is a minimum 2 inch air gap between the tube and the drain or meet local standards. If an automatic cleaning bypass is not being installed, please skip to step 4. Step 3. Assembling the automatic cleaning bypass. For models that end in a BP suffix, the automatic cleaning bypass parts were included with the system. Cut three pieces of half-inch tubing to the lengths noted. Assemble them to the automatic cleaning bypass along with the fittings. Remove the plug from the quick connect fitting located at the top of the unit. This can be done by pushing down on the gray collar, then pulling the plug out of the fitting. Connect one end of the cleaning assembly into the fitting. Remove the half-inch shutoff valve and tube that was previously installed in the bottom of the tank. Then connect the left side of the automatic cleaning bypass into the elbow. Reconnect the half-inch shutoff valve and tube that was previously disconnected into the right side of the automatic cleaning bypass assembly.
Step 4 only applies if installing an optional manual service bypass. Preassemble the manual service bypass. Cut two lengths of 3 8 inch tubing approximately 24 inches long. Connect a 3 8 inch quick connect T fitting to one end of each length of tubing. Connect the other end of each tube to a 3 8 inch quick connect shutoff valve. Cut the 3 8 inch tube that was previously installed to the inlet shutoff valve about 4 inches down from the valve. Install one of the 3 8 inch T connections on the manual service bypass to the 4 inch length of tube and reconnect the longer 3 8 inch tube that runs to the water supply. Disconnect the 3 8 inch tube previously attached to the outlet of the automatic cleaning bypass assembly by pushing down on the gray collar and then pulling the tubing out of the bypass. Connect a 4 inch length of half inch tubing to the bypass outlet. Then connect the other T-fitting from the manual service bypass to the other end of the 4-inch length of tube. Reconnect the half-inch tubing going to the steam equipment. Support the manual service bypass by using tube clamps as necessary. Next, you'll be installing the filter cartridges. Remove the red cap from the HF65CL pre-filter cartridge, then moisten the O-rings on the cartridge interconnect with water. Insert the cartridge into the head and rotate one quarter turn to the right until the cartridge stops. The left RO membrane is installed next. Remove the plug from the bottom of one of the RO membranes by pushing down the collar on the white quick connect fitting and pulling the plug out. Remove the red cap from the RO membrane, then connect the gray tube into the quick connect fitting, making sure to use the tube labeled for the left RO membrane. Insert the RO membrane into the left head and rotate one quarter turn to the right until the cartridge stops. Repeat for the right membrane. It is critical to make sure that the blue flow control is inserted into the bottom of the gray tube. Please note that for the SGLP100 series there is only one RO membrane. Be sure to install the blue flow control into the membrane reject line as shown. Connect the outlet from the automatic cleaning bypass to the oven inlet connection. For ovens with separate cleaning and cooking water inlets, connect as shown on the left. For single water inlet ovens, connect as shown on the right. Next is system startup. Connect a one quarter inch tube to the water sample valve and run to the drain. Check the air pressure on the water storage tank using a standard air pressure gauge. The air pressure should be between 10 and 12 psi. Adjust as necessary. Connect the 3 8 inch tube going to the pre-filter head to the water supply using plumbing fittings as necessary. Then turn on the water supply. Open the valve on the bottom of the tank. Then slowly open the inlet shutoff valve. Check for leaks. The inlet water gauge should read at least 60 psi. Open the water sample valve and flush the system per manufacturer's instructions. Then shut the water sample valve off. Allow the tank to fill up completely. The system is now ready for use.